Hey everyone, today we are going to solve equations to find missing angle measures. Take out your lesson worksheet if you have it. If not, grab a sheet of loose leaf paper and a pencil so you can copy the examples and follow along with the lesson. Here's the problem. We are going to write and solve an algebraic equation to find the missing angle measure. So this is a continuation of what we learned previously where we had parallel lines cut by a transversal and we looked at the different types of angle pairs that were formed. And to refresh your memory over on the left here, what were those angle pairs again? They were vertical angles, supplementary angles, corresponding angles, alternate exterior angles, alternate interior angles, and same side interior angles. So that's what we're going to be looking for today. All right, let's get started. First thing is we're going to decide which type of angle pairs we have here. Now just to review, remember that the space in between the parallel lines is the interior. So what I have here are two interior angles. And then the other thing I want to look at is the transversal. So here's my transversal. When I look at these angles in relationship to the transversal, one's on the left side and one is on the right side. So that's telling me that these are alternate, I'm going to abbreviate, interior angles. And what I know about alternate interior angles is that they are congruent, right? They are equal to each other. So when I write my equation, I'm going to write my equation like this. I'm going to say that 9x minus 3, which is my first expression, is equal to 5x plus 37, right? These two angles are going to be equal to each other. So now I'm going to solve my equation. Let's get my variables on one side, so I'm going to subtract 5x. That's going to leave me with 4x minus 3 on the left side, and I'm going to have 37 on the right side. And then I'm going to solve my two-stepper. I'm going to add 3 on each side, and that's going to leave me with 4x equals 40. And then I'll divide by 4. And 40 divided by 4 is going to give me 10. Now, we have to be careful. This isn't the answer, right? These angles don't equal 10 degrees. That wouldn't even make any sense because look how big they are. I can tell just from looking at them that they're larger than 90 degrees. So what I need to do is I need to move on to step 3, which is to use substitution to find the angle measures. So I'm going to take either one of these. It doesn't matter. I can do the 5x plus 37. I can do the 9x minus 3, whatever I want. So I'm going to do the 5x plus 37 because you know I like to avoid negative numbers whenever I can. And instead of an x right there, I'm going to replace it with this value of 10 that we just figured out. And we're going to add 37 when we're finished. So 5 times 10 is 50. And 50 plus 37 equals 87. So that tells me that this angle right here is actually 87 degrees. And if I know this one is 87 and these are alternate interior, then that means this one will be 87 as well. And just to check, I can say to myself, what is 9 times 10? That's 90. And then 90 minus 3 is 87. So it works out, right? It doesn't matter which equation you choose. They're equal anyway. All right, let's continue on to the next example. All right, first thing I want to do is I want to look at these two angles, and I want to determine their relationship. So you know these are my favorite kind of angles, right? These are vertical angles. And we also know that vertical angles are equal to each other. So when I write my equation, I'm going to set it up as 16x minus 14 is equal to 14x plus 8. Now that we have it set up, if you want to stop the video and see if you can figure out the rest of it on your own, that would be great. And then just press play when you're ready to check. If not, just follow along with me. Okay, here's the equal sign. I'm going to get my variables together. So I'm going to subtract 14x on each side. And that's going to leave me with 2x minus 14 on the left side, and it's going to leave me with positive 8 on the right side. I have a two-stepper, so I'm going to add 14 on each side, 
and that's going to leave me with 2x equals 22. And then I'm going to divide each side by 2, and that will leave me with x equals 11. So that means my answer, my value of x is 11. But is that what the angle equals? Absolutely not, right? These angles are clearly not only 11 degrees. That would be too small. So let's pick one. Maybe I'll do the 14x plus 8 because you know how I feel about those negative numbers. So 14x plus 8. And instead of the x, I'm going to replace it with 11 because that's what we just figured out. Okay, so here's where your calculator might come in a little handy. But if we're going to do 14 times 11, that's going to give us 154. And then I'm going to add 8 to that. And when I add 8 to 154, that gives me a measure of 162. Now, hopefully, it will work for both of them, right? I think we should check it just to make sure. So we're saying that this one is 162. All right, let's see what happens if we do 16 times 11 minus 14. So I'll do that one up here, right? And you don't have to check them all the time, but I just want to show you how it should work out the same on both sides. So 16 times 11 this time is going to give us 176. And 176 minus 14 equals 162. So perfect. Both of our angles are the same as they should be, right? Because they are vertical angles. Okay, I think this would be a great time to definitely stop the video and see if you can do these other problems on your own. Um, if you don't feel comfortable doing that, though, of course, you can just keep watching and I will help you through them. Okay, here we go. So for question B, I've got the 5x plus 33, I've got the 2x plus 48. These are corresponding angles because if I took this parallel line and I slid it on top of this line, these two would be right on top of each other. So corresponding angles are equal to each other. So I'm going to say 5x plus 33 equals 2x plus 48. All right, let's start solving here. So I'm going to subtract 2x from each side. That's going to leave me with 3x plus 33 equals 48. And now I'm going to subtract 33, right? I'm just solving a two-step equation here. And I've got 3x equals, when I do 48 minus 33, I get 15. My last step will be to divide by 3, and that leaves me with x equals 5. Now again, right, we know by this point that this does not mean that the answer is 5. Obviously, these are not 5 degrees. So let's pick one, right? Maybe I will use the 5x plus 33. I'll do it up top here. So 5x plus 33. Now, instead of that x, I'm going to replace it with the value of x that we just came up with, which was 5. And I'm just going to solve this little expression here. I'm going to evaluate it. 5 times 5 is 25, and 25 plus 33 is 58. So that means this angle right here is 58 degrees. Now, if I did my work right, this one will also be 58 degrees. And I can just do this one mentally, right? 2 times 5 is 10, and 10 plus 48 is 58. So there we go. Works out perfectly. All right, question C. Now, let's look at this picture carefully. Here's my parallel lines. Here's my interior. So these two angles that they're giving me are exterior angles. And again, I want to look at my transversal, right? It's always important to check out this transversal. These two angles that I have are on opposite sides of the transversal. I have one on the left side. I have one on the right side. So that means that these angles are alternate. Right? I'm going to just make a little note here. These are alternate exterior angles. Now I know that alternate exterior angles are equal to each other. So when I write my equation, I'm going to write it as 4x minus 90 equals x plus 60. Whoops, that is a crazy looking zero right there, and I don't like it, so I'm going to write it again. 
that's better. All right, here's my equal sign. I'm going to subtract x from each side. And that's going to leave me with 3x minus 90 equals 60. And then we have a two-stepper. I'm going to add 90 on each side. And that's going to leave me with 3x equals 60 plus 90 is 150. And then I'm going to divide each side by 3, and that's going to give me x equals 50. Now again, these angles do not equal 50 degrees, right? This is just what the value of x is. If I want to figure out these angle measures, I just have to take my value of x and substitute it into these expressions. Let's do the real easy one. Look at this, x plus 60. Doesn't get any easier than that. I'm going to replace my x with 50 that we just came up with, and I'm going to add 60 to that. And that tells me that the answer is 110. So this angle right here is 110 degrees. Again, I'm going to check just to make sure I didn't make a mistake. I can do this one mentally. 4 times 50 is 200, and 200 minus 90 is 110. All right, last example. So when I look at my picture here, here's my parallel lines. This is the interior. These two angles, when I look at them, right, let's look at that transversal. These two angles are on the same side of that transversal. So these are same side interior angles, right? And we haven't done these yet, right? These are, so I'm going to abbreviate, same side interior. We're going to call those SSIs, same side interior. And what I know about same side interior angles is they equal 180. They don't equal each other. I can tell just from looking at them. This is a skinny one. This is a fat one. So here we go. I'm going to write my equation. I'm going to write 4x plus 19 plus 3x plus 14 equals 180 right? Because they're not equal to each other. They're equal to 180. This is a different kind of equation here. Look at this. I'm going to add these like terms together. I've got a 4x and a 3x that can go together. So that's going to give me a 7x. And then I've got a 19 and a 14 that can go together. And 19 plus 14 equals 33, and this all equals 180. Now I'm going to subtract 33 from each side, right? Once I combine those like terms, I'm just down to a two-stepper. So now I have 7x equals 180 minus 33 is 147. We'll divide each side by 7, and that's going to give me x equals 21. All right, here we go. We know the answer is in 21, right? 21 is the value of x that we're going to plug into these expressions. So for my first expression, I'm going to have 3x plus 14. So I'm going to do 3 times 21 plus 14. So 3 times 21 is 63. And 63 plus 14 equals 77. So that means this angle right here is 77 degrees. Now if this one is 77 degrees and together they're 180, this one should be 103. But let's just make sure. Okay, So if I do 4 times 21, 4 times 21 is going to give me 84. And if I add 84 plus 19, that does give me 103. So these two angles together equal 180 degrees because same side interior are supplementary. So most of our equations, we set them up so that the two expressions were equal to each other because the angles were congruent. But every now and then, you're going to have one like this, the same side interior, where they're not equal to each other, but they're equal to 180. All right, hopefully you guys are pros right now at writing and solving equations to find missing angle measures. If you need to rewatch the video, you should certainly do that. And as always, ask your teacher if you need help or have questions. See you next time.